Hey guys, I'm Professional Bohemian. I'm an illustrator, oil painter, and Twitch streamer. You're about to watch a section of one of my streams where I create this image right here. Um, do stick around, watch um, subsequent videos, or navigate through the channel and see if there's anything else you like. Drop a subscribe, like, comment, um, check out my work on Instagram, and join me live on twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian with me and my community and have some fun. Enjoy the video, guys. I don't know about you, but four times, dude. It's a lot, isn't it? My sister-in-law four times as well, man. Nah, that stuff's rechargeable these days. <laughs> I'm the fourth wife, he's my first. Dude. It's a lot, I don't know about you guys, but after four times, man. If I tried cooking steak four times, after the third time, I'd be like, okay, I'm getting KFC. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, I'm vegan now. <laughs> Four times is a lot. Four times is a lot for anything. Geo Connection, this bot have three eyes? <laughs> yes. Geo, three eyed robot. And welcome, sir. Thank you for joining us and thank you for that follow. By the way, guys, thank you to Geo Connection for the for the follow. Miles de gracias. Um, thank you to Vaughn Radio, of course, for the raid. Thanks to Gandalf for the subscription and Donkick for the other follow. Guys, you, you're killing it right now. Killing it. I've been once for 36 years. God help me, seriously, help me. <laughs> So what you're saying is after three failed marriages, we need to visit companionship motels. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I'm just saying three's a lot. Four's a lot. Like four times is a lot to try and fail at something. You know, and normally, life has a way of sorting that shit out for you. Like, you're not, if you fail at skydiving, you're never gonna have a second chance. Yeah, bad at bungee jumping. One, one and done, man. <laughs> if the U U.S. had free healthcare, and gam I'd gamble the rate would go down. Why you think you think people are getting married to to be on um, their spouse's healthcare? That's interesting. Which begs the question, did more people get married over the coronavirus outbreak? I only got married for the tax allowance joke. <laughs> Romance isn't dead. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, uh, you know what? I don't even think we're going to have this robot on the floor. We'll have him floating. Held up by these cables like he's plugged into some machine. How does that sound, lady? Awesome, right? Awesome. Awesome. Divorced over lockdown than married. Could not stand 
Could not stand to me that close for, <laughs> for so long. Yeah, like, that's probably true. I bet there's a, a ton of lockdown babies, though, right? Tons of them. Right, baby. Yeah. Right, next year we're just gonna be hit by so many babies. Like a pandemic induced baby boom. I mean, tons, tons of people I know have been posting those alien autopsy fucking ultrasounds. You know. No, you got life in my belly. Come on, dude. Come on. Don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against children, like children. I couldn't eat more than a whole one, but they're good. No, seriously, I like children. But I'm not going to be amazed that you've had a kid. I'm not going to be any more amazed that you've had a baby than I am amazed that you've eaten a sandwich and a poo's come out. It is just like a thing the body does. Congratulations for having a working body. You know what I mean? But if he's beautiful, no, it looks like Winston Churchill. They all look like Winston Churchill. That one looks like all the others. Congratulations. It looks healthy. <laughs> With recent laws in Texas, I'm assuming the opposite. What laws in Texas? Baby names for 2020. Rona, Covidia, Pandemia. <laughs> Dude, for sure there's going to be some kids called Corona, right? Wasting time, hoping that you drop by. And I don't pretend to know what you want. I don't even know where to start, but I'm willing to try. Even if you push me under, it's only going to make me stronger. It's only going to feed my hunger. Say the words, say, say the words. Even if the tide stop turning, even if the world keeps burning, nothing's gonna stop this feeling. Um, Texas outlawed abortion after a heartbeat can be determined. Let me guess, a bunch of men made that decision, right? Whatever, man. I'm not going to start arguing politics. Right, it grinds my gears, y'all. Allowing general population to sue individuals involved in inv in abortion. Oh god. So basically, they can sue the doctors who perform the operation. Oh jeez, Louise, man. Welcome to the 16th century, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. It's going to the Supreme Court to rule on, man. It's nuts. It's nuts to me. Say the word, say, say the word.
I'm not sure we're going to stick with these cables and shit. Just kind of trying it on, seeing how it works. Um, anyone, but that also means an individual can sue oil companies for contributing to the transportation. Uh, Wow, transportation to a clinic. Holy shit. Politicians are trying to split the US in half, the ultra right against the ultra left. Yeah. Aye, man. Is there room in Spain for me? I think we can fit you in, Liza. Um, where is a good place to move to in Spain? <laughs> Madrid, man, that's where it's happening. Saying that, Lady Bo and I, we really want to move to the north of Spain. Simpler life, farm alpacas. Like that. I'm still struggling to visualize what's going on around this thing. It's hard for me to let go. But in the background and whatnot. So we fleeing. It's been a serious thought for me as I can work from anywhere then dude. Then think no more, dude. Your ass love of Europe, man. Seriously, I've thought about moving. Dude, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame anyone. I mean I wouldn't want to go live back in England. No way. I'm just an imperfect person in this imperfect world. But I'm learning my way on earth. This means that I'm running through now when I think of you. I'm fine to your picture of you. You will eat me alive. And now when I think of you, I'm fine. And all of the ones that were all I really don't want to live in England. Yeah, I mean, I haven't lived there for so long. I actually feel a little out of place when I go back home. Not around my family and whatnot. I mean, in the country, like, you know. I just don't feel like home anymore, you know? Guys, I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere.
Hey, look at you. You made it to the midpoint in the video. Good for you. Um, at this point, I'm going to remind you, you should probably subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so, or jump into twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian and join me on my next stream. On with the show. What's up, guys? Told you I wouldn't be long. Sorry. I've returned. What's up, guys? Never been here before. I am professional bohemian. I'm an illustrator and oil painter. I promise I'm going to do some oil painting soon. It's coming. It's coming. Um, what's up, guys? If you've never been here before, do feel free to click that follow button. We do greatly appreciate it. A big thank you to Donkick and Geo Conexion for the follows, um, for Vaughn Radio for the raid, and Gandalf2000 for that awesome subscription keeping the lights on in the studio and keeping me in pens and paints and pencils awesome dude thank you all right let's continue um that's even with his favorite cousin living there <laughs> dude nothing to do with um, uh, with my family it's just it's odd when you live in a country in another country for so long it's hard to get used to you know like the idea of the idea of home changes, you know. Or like at least where home is. Like home is more of an ephemeral idea for me now than it is a, an actual place. And dude, if I feel at home anywhere, dude, it's definitely Spain. You know? I've been here so long. Um, we're all moving in with you. They, we have, you can sleep on the floor in the studio. <laughs> Incredible MP3 and MP4 cent. Oh my God, dude. Not on Insta, right? No. No. Hang on. It's in my inbox. It's in my inbox. And what, dude, there is. Oh, God, guys, this is going to be our next sound effect. Incredible. Incredible. Um, home is where the pizza is, dude. Damn right. The pizza and fried chicken, wherever that is, that's home. You know? Guys, Lady Boy cooked me, um, uh, cooked me lunch again today. It was freaking delicious. It was these delicious little Chinese dumpling type things. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually looking for the pencil I was using. God knows what I've done with it. I think I might have left it in um, in the room there. So I'm struggling to figure out what's going to go in the background of this thing. I really don't know. We have this meditating bot. It'd be great to have him hovering above the ground. Lady Bo was see, I loved him some. Yeah, me too, dude. Delicious, dipping in a little bit of soy sauce. It'd be great to have him floating above the ground. Do we put him in nature? Given that he's quite a technological thing, but then the wires wouldn't make much sense, would they? Okay, what's my next... Um, HB, that'll do. Where do we put this guy? Hanging dust sheets and some old server racks in the back. Oh, yeah. Dude, for the win, server racks. Let's have a look for some. Can't find any good images. Yeah. Like the Matrix. I'm hearing you, dude.
Can I tell you that we tried, Lady Bo and I tried to watch Matrix, the, the second Matrix movie. Lady Bo couldn't do it. We're going to give it another try. It was, I mean, it is, I forgot how bad the cave rave was. And then just all the, oh, all the, what's it, the um, exposition and shit. We're going to have another try at it though. We haven't given up. The cave rave was great. <laughs> Zion is not a pie, dude. In caves. It's their, it's their, um, it's their expertise. I was just telling the guys about um, trying to watch the, the Matrix, the second one. Oof. <laughs> what was it that, that you found the worst? that it's like a normal movie it's not the matrix anymore yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah disappointing right mm. Okay, we're gonna do server racks in the back with covered in like a dust sheet and shit. I love that, this idea. Love this idea. Maybe if I type in old server racks better. Old server racks. Oh, darling, if I had maybe a desk. Would you still be here by my side? Yeah, I thought the smoke. Could be hours while I'm walking. We can do like an all C and I in there or something. You can break my bones, break all the promises, but me. It looks cool. You you need real to real servers. Let's try let's try that. Real to real servers. Real to real. Oh yeah, now we're talking. These guys would be quite tall, I imagine. Would you put them about like seven foot or something? That's the desk that come up to about there, probably. Oh, guys, we're getting some great suggestions out today. Super happy. First, that was the first computer servers I worked on that they were gigantic. I like the idea of a dust sheet covering them. Like some of them, and then we can leave that, these guys over here open. And we can see the real to real servers. This is, this is looking good. Um, right.
You know what was it? What it was for me, Lady Mo? I think it was the too much, too much love. Mm. I don't want so much love and talking about love in my gothic sci-fi sci movie. You know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I already had enough love on the sofa, you know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> no, no, yeah. It was just very kind of, it was very different. It's almost like the Wachowskis didn't direct that second one. Are we talking about losing control? I'm gonna show you how we lose control, baby. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Marty Mark, watch the way I start up. I've been going hard, but I can go way harder. Every beat I'm on, yeah, you know that I slaughter. And I'm always looking gorgeous, chilling with somebody, daughter. Yeah, she loving me. Say she love the way my chain sit and cut the blade. And of course, it says my name if you want to wait. So let you know who's been a blow. Always win and check the score. Sweet, I lost somewhere my pencil. Yeah. I think I might have left it in uh in the break room <laughs> on the terrace. No, no, sweetie. No. Oh, okay. I prefer you being here. Yeah, so Lady Bow made these. What were they called those things that you made? Those delicious little things, the little dumpling things. Dumpling? Dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Um, Empanadillas in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I just feel like the dust sheets will add an age as if it's been meditating for a long ass time, dude completely with you it's a great suggestion yeah they were always dusty even when they were in use the moving parts set up so much dust my very first job was programming reel-to-reel -reel servers using punch cards and then the result would print out on these four foot long dot matrix printer i remember my first job in an old warehouse in 2006 they still had a dot matrix printer which printed off the packing lists having to sit there and waiting for it to click and tick away dude yeah i remember those i remember those print with the with a perforated edge paper. Dude. I like the idea, the idea that it's like the place that they're in is just old and abandoned. Dude, this is, I'm so glad I asked you guys, man. This is so much better than what I had cooking up. 